But let's not take anything away from the toughness that Pavel's shown in that round. Soaked some big shots up and came forward through it. Second round, you ready to fight? You ready to fight? Bring That's it on, right, come on. Some very good, well-aimed shots. There's a nice low kick from Edwards to start this round off. You see straight away, have a lift that leg up. He really didn't like that low kick. Thrown with some good venom. Definitely, and he backs up. An elbow over the top from Edwards. Very inventive striking for me, Rob. Gets his man with a great takedown. Take Heavy takedown. It's an impressive performance from Leon Edwards for me, Rob. Showing a lot of different tools in his toolkit, really. Showing the good boxing, showing the kicks, but also as we see there, showing the wrestling. And now we're looking at a heavy, heavy top game. Tried to climb his way to mount position, caught in the half butterfly by Pav on his way over the top. Pav in a good position for the sweep, should it arise. Pav again, just happy to tie his opponent up, keeping him still. I mean, that's been the story of Pavel's game from the bottom, realistically. He hasn't shown really an attacking guard, but what he's done really well is he's locked his opponent up and hasn't allowed him a lot of space to work. But as I say that, Edwards moves to mount, and here come the punches. He rolls over, and Edwards has got one hook in. And now he'll be looking for the submission if he can get it. He's got both hooks in now as he rolls his man through. Tough times for Pavel here. Wrist only, wrist only. Have a wall there for holding the glove of Edwards. Very well to get out of that position for me, Rob. Back control, he managed to turn into his man and get up. And now he's pushing Edwards up against the cage. Get off his shorts, get off his shorts. Well, we've seen it before, Ben, where fighters are happy to give up their back, knowing that they can escape from their back easier than they can from mount. And obviously under these professional rules, I mean, the mount situation, a very, very, very dangerous place to be, and big shots can kind of come in from there. And from the back, I suppose, there's less kind of strikes that you can really be hurt with. Obviously, you can't be caught with any elbows from that position. Pavel still coming forward. He's got the danger in those punches. That's right, working as the aggressor now. Looking to stalk his man and fire some shots from awkward angles. Edwards looking on closely. I will just out of range for that kick there. Another Superman there from Pavel. Really likes that technique. It's Leon kind of backing out, wringing the arms out a little bit, Rob. And when we talked about it, I mean, a real dynamic energy sap in first round and it's inevitable that the pace would kind of slow down here in the second oh and it's a beautiful high kick that catches Pavel and had him almost out on his feet but he was a big able knee to the body. survive he doesn't want enough that knee Robin here's the ground and pound Leon Edwards taking a very close look at it. That left hand firing like a piston after a kick that almost put him away on his feet. How is Pavel still in there? He's trying to, almost just saw Pavel there trying to get the mouthpiece out of his mouth just to get extra, extra kind of uh, energy, extra breath to him. I think that knee to the sternum really took a lot out of him. We saw him wince in pain and fall back to the canvas. And there's another knee coming through to the body. Leon Edwards now, him, not to the head. looking for the choke, but he can't really get his man from there. But what hard shown from Pavel, Rob. He's taking some huge shots, and Edwards now looking to lock in a choke if he can from that position. Dash maybe lets it go as he looks to come forward. Edwards moves to side mount position. We can see what he's looking for, Rob, that left elbow, that cutting left elbow, if he can land it over the top. He's got Pavel pushed up against the corner there. Really looking to grind his foe out. Does, mate, you asked the question, how is Pavel still in there? He's done fantastically well to survive a vicious onslaught that started with a head kick. Last 10. 
Last 10 seconds again. Another really entertaining round. Leon Edwards landing some huge shots, coming very close to finishing his opponent. Fantastic second round. I mean, this really is a great fight. Both guys well matched up. Unbelievable to think he's done 10 minutes of really frantic action. He's there, okay, mouth the closed, breathing fight. out of his nose. Bring it on, Unreal on. level of conditioning. So third and final round. Who wants it bad enough? Might very well come down to survival of the fittest in this round. Condition as we see so often in these fights, Rob, factoring in. Have a look in a little more tired of the two. Hands a little lower, mouth a little wider open. Edwards looks like he's just picking his spot for me, Rob. He's just circling forward and there it is. Timing. Very good timing from Edwards. It's been the tail of the left hook, really, from Leon Edwards. And there's a huge kick over the top. Pavel showing that even in this round, he's still got that explosive power. Oh, and there's another kick. Beautiful shot. Pavel almost faking that punch then. Much closer around this one, Rob, for me. A very uh, tough one from the judges. Neither man really landing. A lot of feints going, a lot of combinations just kind of missing. You just kind of sense that all it's going to take is one shot from either, either fighter at this point. For me, Pavel needs to be very, very careful as he does move in aggressively. Edwards just seems to be biding his time, clocking the timing almost of his opponent, trying to study him and work him out, break him down. And there's that big left again. It's been his go-to punch, really, as Pavel comes forward. And there's another kick. Pavel coming forward very aggressively. Seems to realise how close this fight is, and lands a nice crisp hoop there. Coming forward, and Edwards straight down to a takedown, and what a quick takedown that was. Felt the momentum shifting, felt his opponent kind of coming forward, and made the, boat, the best of that momentum by going underneath and getting that takedown. That did surprise me, I have to be honest. I thought Edwards would have been the fighter that would be happy to stay upright, to duck underneath and shoot. He's probably looking at the win through the decision. Judges looking on, they'll score a good takedown for him. And he's perhaps proven that he's going to be a very, very tough cookie to put away. Definitely. I mean, I think from, from Edwards' point of view, I mean, I think he felt that Pavel was getting comfortable in that round and was coming forward and maybe the, the stand-up exchanges weren't going as he'd, as he'd want to and from that point of view it makes perfect sense I mean why take the risk if your opponent's coming in and aggressive like that and you can feel a, a takedown there then by all means and from Edwards it's especially clever because he hasn't really gone for a lot of takedowns so to throw one in at this late stage when his opponent's coming forward which is a very wise a very wise head on this young fighter's shoulders right, fighting the smart fight Sometimes, as a fighter, you have to look at your options. Do you go for a, a crowd-pleasing victory, or do you fight the smart, fight, smart, the smart fight to have your hand raised? Well, definitely. I mean, and let's be honest, Rob, Pavel's shown that he is tough as nails with those shots that he's taken, the big kicks, the knees, the left hands. He's taken all those shots, and he's carried on coming forward. That's and right, throwing some fantastic combinations and bombs of his own. Definitely. I mean, Leon Edwards, known as a guy with good punches and known as a guy who can hurt people with strikes. I mean, maybe this is the first guy he's fought who can kind of take his punishment and keep coming forward. And that obviously a big, a big psychological test we see for a lot of fighters when you first meet that guy, that guy who takes your best shots and comes face straight me. after, face me. straight forward. Face, face me. It's fine. There's another kick coming in from Edwards, firing that well. Pavel looks hungry at the end of this third round, finishing the stronger of the two. Winging that big overhand right. Another nice kick from Edwards' kicks from me, Rob, remarkably fluid. That's right. 
and it's always great to see it. an MMA fighter that has that crispness to their feet and their hands. Just a nice power coming forward now landing some strikes. It's the kind of fight that Edwards doesn't want to get lulled into. Edwards does not want to get pulled into one of these really wild brawls because that's when his opponent's dangerous. But with 10 seconds left, if he can finish the fight with, a, with another takedown, maybe it'll put the stamp on it. Papa wanting to get into that aggressive brawl at the end there. But as you said, Edwards fought the smart fight. And I think Pav really Ladies realizes, and gentlemen, what a fantastic concert. He's concert. probably just lost. Let's hear it for both warriors. Come on! OK, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of hard-fought action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have rendered a unanimous decision. Scoring the contest 30 27, 29 28, and 30 26 in favour of your winner from the red corner, Leon Rocky Edwards. Well, let's hear it for a very gallant runner up. Let's hear it for Pavel Zivivka.